What's up, guys? LD back with you, LD Moto, and uh, we're gonna get back on the, mini the sketchy bike. mini bike. It's a little less sketchy now, but let's check this thing out. I've done a few things since the last time you guys seen it. Definitely looks better. I mean, it's not like a high quality paint job, but it definitely looks better. Look at this. Uh, hold on, we gotta get some stuff out of the way. This looks yeah, guys, we're gonna get some crap out of here, and uh, we'll show you what we've got done on the uh, the mini bike. Alrighty, so it doesn't look too bad. I redid the the swing arm with like a hammered gray. It looks pretty decent. Um, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, the gas tank. That's one thing I'm still got to figure out location. I already got it dismounted from the motor, but uh. You guys ever need a simple, quick kind of idea for a chain tensioner and you don't want like, you don't have a bunch of springs, you don't have a bunch of metal. Quick, simple solution. As long as you have some, uh, at least a drill bit and some or indoor self tappers, check this thing out. Wait till we get the chain on it and you'll see what I'm talking about. Simple chain tensioner, keeps it off everything, cheap, easy to make and all I had to do is heat it up and bend it just basically to where I needed it let it cool down put it around there it'll work it's part of a cutting board and I think it's doesn't stand out like wicked I mean, you're kind of like it's better than having a whole like spring set up on here and it works you know and you can easily replace it if you needed to but uh yeah we had one well, not a chain tensioner per se, but a guide. It's been on there for a long time, so it seems to work. But yeah, we're getting back onto this. I just need to. What's up, dude? Get your gloves. I got right, on. right on. But yeah, uh, these just came in another day. It's not a direct bolt-on, but the caliper and the rotor should work together. I just got to make a new mount on this bracket here. Uh, it's already been bled. I might have to turn this just because, but it looks really big. long as we don't loosen it up too much or hit any, we shouldn't have to. Shouldn't be bad. It looks. It's really big too. Yeah, it should have plenty of stopping power for this thing. It's touching right here. Oh yeah, because it's not mounted yet. But we just got to get it in the right position. But it'll be plenty of clearance. Yeah, it'll, it'll probably hit. One way or another, I'll make sure there's plenty of clearance. If we hit the brake, it'll probably stop. Easily. It might, it might slide. It might stop. Who knows? We'll figure it out. But oh yeah, seat material here. It's kind of velvety. You might recognize it. I utilized an old air mattress because it felt nice, and the old seat cover was garbage, and it's waterproof. So. So if if there's water coming out of the roof, it'll pop, it won't, it won't And it just happens to be kind of a like a navy bluish almost. Kind of goes along with it, I think. We might redo the exhaust. What do you think, dude? Think we should kind of shoot it out the back, or? I want to. I want to cut right here, and I want. I just want to make it. You don't want to have it like right there because your leg is kind of hovering here. I mean, it's still not in the way. It's just a lot more than needed. Is so it, I was I thinking about just, just cutting it here it. and here, and just kind of shooting it off here somehow. I don't know. I don't really or I just might leave it and let somebody else decide if really they buy like, it. I don't really like it when it's like poking down. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Alrighty, guys. Uh, we're going to get onto this. I'm going to close the door probably so we don't get a little chilly. And we're going to get on some cool stuff about this, I guess. Look. We need to figure out the gas tank, hey, look at this. chain on, brakes. Yeah. <laughs> a vacuum tip. There we go. Alright, guys. We'll catch up in just a little bit. Alrighty. Here's the issue with this thing. I don't know if I can get it. Obviously, that doesn't line up where I need it. So I gotta make that bracket fit to where I gotta, where a little work. And straighten this line out. I know the bleeder's on the bottom side, but whatever. And uh, hopefully I can just loosen this up just enough to swing this around, make that a little better. And hopefully not have to bleed it. I mean, if I do, it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, finish the mount in the motor. I got the brake or uh, handle on there. Just gotta get the other stuff. But yeah, exciting stuff. What do you think, dude? What are you going to build? I don't know yet. 
Oh, you're just looking? All right. All right, guys, so I'm going to look about, at this. I'm thinking about, like, cutting this off and get, getting something to make it a little exhaust. Exhaust for what? <laughs> you just want to make an exhaust? No, I'm going I'm to make, like, something where I can light it, too. Okay, then. It's going to be 65. Oh, you want a 65 dirt bike? Yeah, that would be cool. But, yeah, everybody's got gold, and we ain't got gold. So, alrighty, guys, uh, we'll catch up in a little bit. Sorry if I sounded negative there, but, you know, 65 is really expensive. But, someday, bud, hopefully you don't outgrow a 65 before we get one. But we're going to get back on this. Alrighty, I'm going to try and do some, a little bit of cat design here. Because, I'd much rather measure... A bunch of times and cut once before I just cut it and like oh man now I gotta return it or put it back on because the mo mounting points are just a little bit different this one would actually be pretty practical because it was the closest to these mounts but either way it was too high so I'd have to chop it down and bring it down so yeah I'm still gonna be able to use this hopefully I'm just gonna make a cardboard template off of here and kind of work with it on here just so I can get the holes properly because if I can use at least one hole that'd be cool uh, I'm not sure in which one it would be this one would probably be the one I would use because I think it was pretty close to this one but yeah enough jibber jibber I'm gonna start drawing something and cutting and see what I can do before I chop any metal I'll let you guys know how this goes in just a bit Alrighty guys, a little while later, a um, couple modifications later, and yeah, it's on there. It works, I guess. I mean, it's the uh, brake caliper is just a little too wide for the rotor, but I think that's it'll be fine for a while. It's definitely going to be better than, you know, too small, but everything works. Uh, the bolt is a little long. This is all just temporary at the moment. It's in there tight. Liam, can you go up there and uh, squeeze the brake for me? Yes. It's a little, it needs some a little self-clearance, but oh, she works. All right, let go. Yeah, it needs a little self-clearance. Not too, too bad, but yeah, that's where we're at. I'm actually going to make something. Yeah, he wants to build the dirt bike for uh, his brother. Oh, dang. Yeah, which I don't have a problem with, but we just got to finish the project because... This is going to be, uh, hopefully Christmas money for my have, wife. Like, I have, I have the handlebar, and this is going to go on this for me. We're not going to put those junky bars back on. We'll probably put those other bars on there. We'll see. We'll make it nice. It's probably going to be a totally different color, too. Yeah, I want you to, like, be, we do likes the green, so we're probably going to get green for him. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll catch back up in a little while. We still got some tinkering to do here, and, uh, yeah. We're right. gonna get Mr. Beast Burgers. Mr. Beast Burgers. Yeah, that's a. We were gonna do a different video about that. You just ruined it. But no, it's all good. Oh, yeah. My wife got me some early Christmas present. I thought this was kind of cool. I normally don't say anything about it. I wear his merch a lot. I, I appreciate you guys signing it. LS George, uh, Jack Stan, Jimmy, James, and Old Cleater Cleat. Thank you guys for signing that. That was cool. It says happy on the poop. It says happy hell yeah brother holidays. Yee yee. Alrighty guys, we're giving the mini bike a break for a little while. We're gonna go check out Mr. Beast Burgers. Yeah. We'll see. We, we'll let you guys know how it was in just a little bit. Mr. Beast. Beast. We've been talking about it all week. You but, watch Mr. Beast on, um, um, on YouTube. Yeah, I think a lot of people do. All right, guys, we'll catch up in a bit. Beast Burgers is on the way. It's kind of hard to get to. It's not like a sit-down restaurant. Let's see what mom's got for us. Oh, look at that. Beast Burgers. All right, guys, we're going to eat. And I'll let you know afterwards. Eat time. Okay. Um, I'm not going to knock the brand, but the location, not so good. Uh... I'm not gonna worry about. Flies. I'm not gonna worry about temperature too because we were a little bit late. But no. forgot stuff and well, it's nothing that crazy. My flies hot. Yeah, flies are spicy. Yeah, so yeah. I can't fly them once. But anyways, 
Oh yeah. We'll, I'll give it an, another shot sooner or later, but not, not so good right now.